Good morning everyone. Welcome back to uh, the part 2 of the vlog. And yeah, so it's 6:30 in the morning um and we are going to watch the first sunrise in the world now. Simran. I know right, it's too early so in the morning. Sleepy. So sunrise today is at 7:20. So we have to hurry up. And Hi. Hello. Morning. Morning, morning. <laughs> Oh, it's too cold. Morning, sleepyheads. <laughs> Actually, don't fall asleep. <laughs> Look at the sky already. Oh, it's so pretty. What time is it? 6.45. 6.45. 20 minutes. Guys, We are going to the beach to watch the sunrise. <laughs> They're running to catch the sun. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. We found our spot here. Yeah, because I mean I think we we'll mostly just look at sunsets. Yeah. And not sunrise. Exactly. So, yeah. We're not morning people. <laughs> not at <laughs> all. <laughs> this is so, going to be an amazing experience, yeah, definitely. Exactly. You can see the sun rays over there. Ready. But it's a bit cloudy at the moment. So hopefully the sun should come up. Come up soon. So yeah, I'm very excited. We're gonna watch first sunrise of the world woo, 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 woo. <laughs> it's beautiful it's yeah. just absolutely beautiful i know it's so peaceful terrain right now exactly. here like i mean the clouds look so beautiful yeah everything. see everything is so yeah, pretty you can see the sun Actually, look at this view. Yeah, na? Waves ke yaar se bahut sahi yaar. Acha. This is absolutely stunning. It's getting more and more beautiful with each minute. So nice. <laughs> to watch the first sunrise in the world this thing on my bucket list has been ticked off so yeah it's amazing how was the experience guys it's very beautiful i know right so refreshing like so lucky to see the first sunrise in the world yeah so sunrise experience was amazing and now we are back um uh, home so last night we reached late so we couldn't get this view but it's amazing So we're basically uh, living in the middle of nowhere. So we are here in outskirts of Gisborne city. It's like a half an hour drive from the city here. But it's pretty cool. That's the house. Look at the sheep there. Okay. Anyone hungry? I am. <laughs> I can't. Yes, let's eat something. Wow, so this is the 
backyard. Okay, so we are having noodles for breakfast now. And thanks, Jade, for making it. All good. <laughs> so this is the backyard and the view. Are you enjoying Jaydev? Beautiful weather, yummy noodles. I know. What else we could expect? Exactly. <laughs> I wish we could have this every day. Yeah. Okay, so I'm all ready. I'm just tying up my shoes. Now we are heading to get some breakfast in the city, in Gisban city. And then we'll go ahead with our plan. It's such a beautiful afternoon. It's already one o'clock. Okay, we are going on a train ride. So it's a vintage uh, steam train that uh, that was built in 1897. Okay, so you can see the train over there. Oh, right, okay. Hi, are you the captain? Yep, I'm the driver today. Huh? We're about to get off shortly, so sure am. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Thank you. They're just running there, I mean. Here he is. That's the only reason to stop. Literally, it's a bit hard. There was a man bagu. Fire extinguishers on the carriages. And seats acquired from in New Zealand, as were in also in Sika. So we've got on the train and just having some little breakfast. This train is so vintage, and it was built in 1897. The engine of this train, so it's like very old. And the fun fact is. We are going. Uh, we are going to cross the airport runway as well. Currently, this is the only train that uh, fully crosses the runway of airport in the world. So it's going to be fun. Trans so should we go train. out and see? Yeah. We're very lucky to have the later Kiwi ride. Hi Ross. How's your day going? Very good, thank you. This is Gisborne Vintage, Gisborne City Vintage Railway. Yeah. And my my job today is mm -hmm. I'm a safety officer and I make sure that all the passengers are safe on the train. So oh, this engine was built uh, about 1901 and it was built in Gisborne, which the train worked a lot of the time mm -hmm. uh, in the Gisborne area between Gisborne and uh, a place called the Matter Way, which is uh, up in the mountains over there. Oh, okay. Oh. Up there, Matawai's up there, and that's where the train went. That's it was a very busy service. Right. Eventually, in about the 1950s, it became uneconomic, so the service was closed, and the, the railway line was taken up. And the only thing remaining is some bridges, some oh. tunnels, mm -hmm. and there's a walkway. Mm. So that's the old engine. <laughs> <laughs> Combustion chamber, this is an old pool uh, drain. Mm. Wow. So I'm one of the firemen for the City Vintage Railway. Oh, okay. So I maintain the boiler, uh -huh. ensure there's enough water, and yeah. make enough fire so we can generate, a, generate enough steam. Right, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. And what was that you were doing? Well, this is coal. Mm -hmm. So that's just basic coal, and that goes straight into the firebox. Oh, in here. And that's how the engine runs? Yep. Ooh, like old times? Yeah. This is an old tiny thing. This is 
1897 yeah. This was such a unique experience. If you ever visit um, Gisborne City, you should definitely do this. So we are in Botanical Gardens here. Uh, Quite dark now, isn't it, Sneha? Yeah, it's getting dark. Yeah, it's not even five uh, five p.m. But it's already yeah. dark. So yeah, here we are, and it looks quite nice. Yeah, and by you the can way, hear yeah. the birds chirping around in the background. Yeah, that's really it's nice. Very calming. Yeah. yeah. So this is the entrance. Entrance. Yeah. Palm Desert Gardens. Okay. It's becoming so quiet. And, uh, mm. It's very peaceful and calm around here. Okay, it's time to go get some food. Because since morning I've hardly eaten anything. Good morning everyone. So it's day 3 of the trip. It's the last day. So we'll be leaving for Auckland today. I had a good night's sleep and right now I'm drinking a cup of chai. The weather is perfect today. So basically we've got a couple of sightseeings on the way um, to Auckland. We're just going to pack our bags and have a little breakfast and then leave. by the ancestor Hineha Karingi, this beach and the birds and kites that swept the skies above had great significance to the first people of this region. Wow, interesting. So over here, this is a historic statue and it has got a very interesting story. The statue depicting the historic sighting of New Zealand by Young Nate. So the story behind the statue is when Captain Cook and his crew in uh, 1769, they were sailing and when they first sighted the land, so there was this uh, boy called Young Nick. He saw the land first here in the east coast of North Island. And he was just waving at the people over here saying, we found land. And that's how, you know, the statues made so this is the city center of Gisborne city and it is so pretty let me show you the town is very quiet at the moment and Nishi and I, we are just walking. Hi. <laughs> we are just trying to explore the town yeah. and find some souvenir shops so that we can take some memories along to Auckland. Yes, that's a good idea. Yes. <laughs> but we are kind of lost. Which, yes. I know, I can't even figure out where the GPS is taking. We are just walking <laughs> on the road. <laughs> so this area of the town is full of historic buildings. So these all are historic buildings you can see. This is how the streets used to look back in 1905 wow we are going to this place tank so it's a very famous juice brand in new zealand and i love their juices nishi which uh, juice do you want today i think i'll take mango Man oh you? i was going for mango too oh, really? i always go for mango yes. it's the best i know 
I've got my tank. Mmm. It's yum. Do you want some? I'll try. Mmm. Mm, this is really nice. Oh, I know, right? Now we are on our way back uh, to Auckland and we have stopped here for a break. It's been such a nice trip for three days and yeah, it was a nice getaway out here. All the places we visited, Fakatana, um, Gisborne, they were all beautiful. This trip was so amazing and luckily the weather was so nice. So yeah, the weekend was well spent. Thank you for watching the vlog and I hope you enjoyed the tour with us. And I will see you in the next vlog. Until then, take care.